Hello everyone, this is Carlo with the product team at Techmetric, and today I want to go over how to create a warranty job. And so first, we got to make sure we have an open repair order, and here we're on the estimate tab. And so at the point that you realize that a warranty needs to be conducted, you can go into the job history tab here at the top, and we're going to search for the original job that we want to warranty. And so here we have a break service at the top. We're going to click on these three dots and then we have an option to create a warranty job. Once we click on this, we're going to have a prompt and here is where you are going to make a decision on what items need to be covered under warranty. And that is what items are going to be at zero cost to your customer. You can adjust that later, but here we're going to select the front brakes. And let's say that the customer is coming in. They're still having noise on the front side. We did the front and rear. And let's take care of the brake pads and the brake rotors. Now for parts, we have an additional option here that allows us to return that part. So we're going to select this for these two parts. And here at the bottom, we see that we have two parts and two labors that are going to be added to the warranty job. That means that all of these items will be copied onto the estimate. Now, when we hit the continue button, you're going to get prompted to specify how many items you want to return. And so here, we can see that we have the brake pads, we have some information about the cost, how many units are available for return, and then here we can say that we want to return all of them, in this case it's one. We can also add a note, this is going to be optional, you'll see this later on in the return orders section. Uh, down below we have the two brake rotors, let's go ahead and return both of those, and here at the bottom you see a summary, three parts are going to be returned in total. Now, once we confirm this, we can scroll down here to see that a warranty job has been added to the estimate. And here we have the labor for the pads and the rotors, and then here down below we have the parts, the pads and the rotors. You'll notice by default we set the totals to zero dollars. You can obviously go in here and make any changes as necessary to reflect a partial cost for the customer that they need to take care of, or you can leave these at zero if the customer is not going to pay anything. So one of the cool features that we have is that if you go into the return order section, you'll now see that we have a new return type for warranty. So we can filter down to warranty and we can see that here at the top, we have the brake rotors and the brake pads that we just returned. And these are going to process just like any of your normal part returns, any of the core returns that go into refund pending uh, once you enter the return order and then finally to refund complete as you define those.